Hello and welcome back to Alpha Shipyards. Uh, this is our recap video for day four. What is it, day four already? Yeah, day four. So we're still on Sol 3. What have we accomplished today? Well, let's go check it out. So, oh yeah, the um, start with the power grid. So, uh, John and um, Flying Crowbar were both out today. Uh, thanks again for all their help. Jetpack fuel's low. Let's get out of the sky. So they doubled up the size of the power uh, because in all of our maneuvering, I guess um, we thought that we had run out of power or had a power issue. So um, let's see. Has anything changed here? Oh, yeah, safety railings and a choice of colors. Safety yellow. We added a status board. So we had a discussion today and decided that the base would be a civilian mining operation, although the materials might be used to build a vehicle to launch to the moon to build a fleet. Again, our sole purpose for being here. Um, as you can see looking around, this clearly looks like a um, part of a fleet in space. But you know, from humble beginnings come mighty oaks. So we decided that um, this this idea goes to Flying Crowbar, because I asked the question, how many people work here? And he was like, well, there's the three of us. And I was like, no, no, no. If not us, we're building it. How many people work here? And he's like, well, is the mine open two or three shifts a day? And it was out of three. So the mine needs uh, three workers. Two people working and one shift lead. So that's nine people. And then the mining crew needs a manager. Uh, the galley needs to be open at least two shifts. Because they're making three meals a day and whatever they're doing for the third shift people. So that left us with two people in the galley and two leads. So there's always a worker and a lead. And then of course we have a manager over the supply department. And then we've got a person who handles clerical tasks, a nurse, and a safety inspector, all of which report under the one director. So we've got a total of 19 people. The mining operations here is going to consist of the mine factory. Ta-da! Magazine for musicians. Uh, the mine shaft itself, the down there stuff. Uh, the boring tunnel, the thing that is going to go due west that away. Um, the galley up there, but since it's a civilian name, so let's, uh, let's change that. Well, what is a civilian term for a galley? So I guess, um, the food hall, the dining hall, the dining hall. What do they call it where Harry Potter and those people eat? The great hall. So then we've got to have housing for all these people. Uh, medical for that nurse to work. And an ore storage farmer. Hmm. A farmer. I'm not sure what the why they let me handle this board. So then we need uh, ore storage farm, a place for when the ore comes out of here, instead of going into this thing, as inefficient as it is, uh, we get ourselves an ingot tank uh, farmer somewhere. Um, and then when it goes through the refinery. Uh, ingot storage, um, you know, until it's used in manufacturing. So, uh, out of the mine, into the refinery, the ingots then go out to there. And then we need a place for hydrogen and oxygen storage. However, as you can see by my helmet, <gasps> ooh, we're out here on Earth, so there's not a lot of, uh, I don't know how much oxygen and hydrogen we're going to need. It could be just this, but it'll likely just be another tank or two out out here somewhere in the um, how green is my mining valley so that's uh, that's what we planned on um, oh yeah um, flying crowbar fixed the the walkway he uh, he went in a very interesting direction he chose to uh, bring the building over and then 
uh, put the door here instead of on the side. See, different people, little things. Um, he apparently has gone for a French Tudor look. <laughs> Excuse me. Is, is that what that is? Um, no, I think he called it a Swiss chalet. Um, a Swiss chalet look. Well, we'll see what it turns out when he skins it and paints it. So in here we have... I'm going to keep the door closed for the wolves. Uh, let's put the lights on since we don't have any lights in here yet. So we've got total access on all sides to all the equipment. A major part of our design rules. Uh, space for tables. I think he's going to push the building out or up. I don't know which he's decided. Um, but he needs dining for 19. So I'm not sure how he's going to do. He might go that way. Um, he's got lots of choices. Let me, uh, I don't need any, anything. Yeah, I'm here. Just top me off. Uh, how are we doing on water? Uh, 23 packets. Not a lot. How are we doing on food? Still protein shakes. He's doing great with those. Um, and let me send those back. Can I go here? Uh, no, it'll go over here. Come again. There. there you go. And, pardon me. So now we've got, uh, I could edit these, but we're manufacturing uh, purple stuff and then purple stuff making soy ingredients. 375 water and 3,000 gravel. The soy ingredients are just adding up. Hmm. And then what are we doing in the crop grower? Wow, he's cranked out um, um, tomatoes, carrots. He's he is cranking out this kitchen process. I mean, we're I'm amazed. I mean, you know, it's one thing to to handle daily needs survival kit. You know, I mean, my view towards it is, you know, you manage it, you go. But I mean. Uh, crowbars only started using it just a few weeks ago and you know here on a brand new server from scratch he's uh, he's making protein shakes within the first couple of hours so the wall got up a little bit again for the wolves at the end of today's shift just to let you know the wolves were standing up here uh, on the prow apparently uh, during one of his runs for wolf meat and steak uh, Crowbar hunted down five or six wolves, and uh, their kin came back looking for him. So I added this all-important feature over here, the couch. Place to recharge your power very quickly. Um, we're going to have to put some offices in here. Places for... I don't know who's going to go in here. Is it just the mining crew offices? Um, do, they, do we put a camera and a camera down there and... Watch it from up here, or what do we do? So we, we had a discussion about um, OSHA or international safety colors. I have to stop. So I have to start switching that thing off when we're online here. We went with international safety yellow. So this is how far we've gotten in the cavern down here. Uh, things are moving along. And we moved the beacon down here to a much safer location. And we turn the staircase around. Did he turn this on before he left? Oh my god, yes he did. I did not even know that. Oh, that's just the first first couple of pistons is extended. Is it all of them? One, two, three. Three are extending. He's got the whole system going. How much ore is in these? All right, these are empty. There is five of them out here. We started out with one, and then did the rotary thing, and then added on to it. Uh, we talked about doing a self, um, uh, an inchworm, but one of the problems is we don't have enough height in this tunnel, because we need to be able to place something here to go down and grab onto or lift up from and release from the uh, conveyor shaft. So we need to make this tunnel a lot taller. 
Um, but all of this was added as we were doing all this work out here. And of course, here's the control panel where we had a discussion about how to do cool things like this. What is this panel set up to do? That's the mine drills. This is the pistons, pistons, and the mine rotor, which has been removed, so we can get that out of there. Um, but what is this doing for the pistons? nothing because the pistons weren't grouped up so we need to group up the pistons and we need to we need to number them that's piston one in the mine this would be piston two in the mine has that guy got the guy is friggin Piston three, piston four, piston five. That guy is moving. And I didn't even know he named these. Uh, he is. Oh, you see. Oh, yeah. This thing. So this initially was up here, and then we brought it down, and then we moved it so that it was it was initially facing this way, so that you would throw stuff here and it would pop into it. But this way, it's a lot easier. You just drop stuff on top of it, and it goes in quicker. Um, to get a little waste on the sides but let's um, let's fix this since obviously he put a lot of work into it and we'll call it make sure there's no piston group ready mine drills okay mine pistons let's see that so we want the we want this button to be the pistons and we want to um, we want to extend and then the next button should be to retract now let's change the velocity on the pistons we want them all to be um, they are sharing inertia tensioner. Their velocity is low. Let's drop it down even lower. Uh, oh, he's already got it. Zero. <laughs> That's, man, this guy's moving. Holy crap. Look at that. So let's, uh, are the drills on? Let's make sure they're on. Since we can't see them down. Oh, yeah, they are on. So... We need a uh, timing block sequence, something that stems the drills. And I guess we're going to be doing that after maintenance. So that's it for today. Uh, that's as far as we got. Matter of fact, that's exactly where we left earlier. We were in maintenance and putting those drills together. And it stopped exactly at the maintenance window. So the next time we come back, that was pretty quick. Let's see if I can get in this time. Let's uh, make that adjustment. These cutscenes are amazing. Somebody put an awful lot of work into them. If you ever get a chance to see them in sequence, it's a very interesting little story. You know, a story without voice, a story without words. Just the, uh, like watching an old time silent film. Well, I am going to, hey, are we coming back? Welcome. Um, did I put up a, uh, no, not there. That's the scene. There's the thumbnail. Um, nope, that ain't it. Where? 
I would have sworn that I had a hole. Do, do, do. All right, well, let's fix. Let's fix these buttons. Let's get them all extending. Let's see how this goes. They are drilling. Yeah, that's kind of fast. That's why it's slamming. That is not smooth as silk there. I don't like them pushing all the pistons at once either. It's better to push them one at a time. But this should be putting a ton of resources back here. Let's see how we're doing on on um, ingots and production. Production should have had like, yeah, 1600 plates, 233. So let's see how we're doing on stone. Four. There's iron coming in. 10,000. Um, let's see. This thing's full. This one's full. The drills. The drills are full. So, let's bring this thing back. See how far it made it. Yeah, let's not stay here. That's, this is, this is going to be a bad place to stand in a few seconds. Get back behind the yellow line there, Val. <laughs> you're, you're about to summon your own, depth in a tra your own death in a trash compactor, pal. All right, so... They should all be coming back. What is this one doing? Well, if this runs overnight, that is going to be an awful lot of ore coming in. All right. So we need a um, we need a timer block down here because that button should turn the timer block on to extend it. Um, the retraction could be done much faster, but. Let's get a timer block down here. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I have to go grab my tools. Ah, I'm not gonna do that without them. That's that would be messed up. Well, I can put the block in. Let me put the block in because that'll remind me that we need to do it. So we need to find space on the good old toolbar. Where are we putting programming stuff? It can go here. So, timer blocks. Wrong one, we want it in the group. So let's do programmable blocks. That'll give us timer blocks and sensors. And that's, um, this should go elsewhere. The doors should all be together too. So let's see, the projector, that's more of a fixture thing. Console food processor. Sorry, it's all about the programmable blocks here. And then I think we put the doors somewhere together. Let me just make sure. Uh, buttons. So we should move that back up to here with, with this stuff. All right, so there's the button panels. And that is five, six, Eight is the drills, nine is LCDs. So let's put uh, medical here. Medical. Let's see what we got. You know, for decorative purposes. Now, since we don't have doors anywhere, let's see. Does this include industrial doors? No, it does not. So then we need to put it here and bring the two industrial doors down. And then, is the sci-fi siding door in these pieces? Those are airtight doors. 
sliding doors. Those are blast door blocks. I don't know if that goes with armor or back here. Do we have space up here in armor? No, we don't. And we're missing, see, light armor slopes, heavy armor, or shapes, heavy armor blocks. Um, this should really be all light armor. And we'll do the heavy armor on the, uh, on the next side. Light. Let's get stuff organized a little bit. All right, so there's the light armor blocks. There's the the various bases with slope. There's the corners and slope. There should be a round one. Um, those are the tips. Where is does the round? Where is the round? The round shape should be here. Not in that grouping. They're not here. They're not there. You know what? We're going to have to... Uh, let's find the heavy ones. And we'll do that opposite. Just to make sure it lines up. The bigger shapes. The heavy armor round slopes. There's the rounds. And there's the squares. So, the light armor slopes, the light armor blocks, there's the, um, one, the light armor slopes, do we only have light armor rounds in vanilla? Let's check, round. There's the heavy armor round. Oh, they're not called light and vanilla. They're called rounds. Okay. So, then let's do this. That should be heavy and light rounds. And then let's look for the heavies again. So, we're missing this one. There we go. So we've got symmetry between the heavies and the light armor. And there's our round pieces. And there's our emotes. Alright. And, um... Where is my, uh... There we go. Love that emote. I feel like something just bumped into me. Oh, no, I emoted it because I moved it around. Stupid me. Okay, so... Four. Let's do... Uh, program a block. Program a block, sensor, timer block. Give me those... Oh, all components. Oh, well. Wow. So let's put, um, you know, we should really put the control panel over here, but whatever. Let's see where this, how this looks. And I need to replace my drill. Replace my welder. I know. How exciting does this get? Could it get any more exciting? That is a darn good question. Welder. There we go. Okay, so when you want to advance the drills, we got five drills. One, two, not drills, pistons. One, two, three, four, and five. Now the problem is the timer block um, if 
we activate the timer block from here, this is mine piston timer block. All right, so it has a delay. We have its setup actions. So we need to trigger piston one to extend, but then we want to delay. And there is no way to delay. because it's just going to fire off. Um, what toolbar are we going to make right here? Um, yeah, see, it's just going to fire through each of the actions. I'm going to have to think that through. Because, I mean, I'd hate to think we're going to put five, six, seven piston timer blocks in here. Oh, let me shut those drills off. Drills are off. Alright. And we are, I believe, a wash and ore. And that's going to get us. I thought I'd name these things. Yeah, we, we, we should just leave this thing running. It's going to be a while. It's going to produce a, um, a ton of plates. And um, we can figure out what to do with this tomorrow. Um, it might be. I'm sure it's not. It's not. I know it's not. We don't put them one after another. But I can't remember how to do them. But we got we got to put a roof over this thing, and then we got to move the wind trees on top of the building, and then we got to come out here and start working on all the other structures of the mine. And while that's all going on, that thing needs to keep cranking that way, so we can build. Well, I guess at that point, what's left of the base down here? I mean, after we make this level of operations, we need to build the base itself. I already came up with a number for that thing. I figured we needed space for 100 people. Same thing with the shipyard on the moon. The moon needs 100 people. Although this thing's just making materials, we need to get space for those people to get ready to go to the moon. Which means we need to stage them here. And I don't know if we can build a launch pad here, or back here. Um, yeah, see, there's nothing back this way. We could put it up here, and launch from here. But we definitely are gonna need to, we're gonna need an auto miner that goes up into the, into one of those mountains and starts bringing us back. Oh, unknown signal piece of candy. I wish somebody had said something. I could have gotten it quicker. Uh, oh, there we go. I almost had a hydrogen. But we're not. 630. I think we'll make it. I don't know, 100 meters per second. Means we go six clicks a minute. We got six minutes. So, I think we'll make it. 32. Where's the button? It is on the bottom. Thank you. How convenient. I didn't bring my drill. God oh, damn it. Uh, 
Can I push this thing? And not have it roll all the way down the hill into forever? No, apparently we can't. Let's let's get this. No, no, let's keep bumping into it so that it it goes further down the hill. Or possibly crashes in and kills me. Come on, come on, come on. Slow down, slow down. There you go. And don't roll back onto the button again. There we go. Big money, big money, big money. And cow boots. Okay, let's find the hatch. Because that's really where we're at. Oh, cool. Oh, that's on the bottom. Stop, stop, stop. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't even bring my gun, but I hope I don't meet any wolves down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I almost fell through the soil there. That would have not been pleasant. Is this thing going to roll all the way down the hill? Is that another signal? Is that? Was that? Where is it? I see beacon three. Oh, no, that's just uh, from each time the beacon's been moved. There it goes. Can we stop it? Nope, because we let it roll right past us. You know, we just, we just want to get the... It's going to roll down that cliff, isn't it? If this thing rolls down that cliff, it... <sighs> Today on Idiot and Soccer Ball. Come on. Hit a bump and stop already. Yep. Who didn't see that coming? Okay, now. Where did it slam into stuff? There it goes. Okay, so we got gray, ooh, gray water. Oh, I'm glad it was all the trouble for that. That was... I mean, I'd like to say this is a blooper reel, but sadly, this is the sort of idiot stuff I do in this game. Where is... Does anyone see these pieces? Okay, this is where it crashed. So it had to be somewhere over here. We need a lawnmower. Where are these pieces? Where did they go? Um, let's put that away just in case that's causing me a problem. I mean, I already got, if I, and it's nighttime, so the wolves are going to be out here in a second. But I mean, hmm. If we have to scour the ground like this. I am never going to find these things. Okay. So the moral of this story is... Why did you leave home without your... Without your grinder? Because you're an idiot. That's why. And now... I'm freaking flying around here. Looking for, I don't know, a pack of seeds? Maybe some fertilizer? You know, the stuff I could make from the dirt all around me. Uh, I am, oh man, I'm burning up my, uh, my hydrogen. We better get back to base. Two and a half kilometers. Okay, that's, that's just... There's a lot of stupid in that. 
That was that was not smart use of resources. Let's let's just stop at the base for the night. Hey, look at that jetpack feels low. Who would have thought? Let's refill that tank. Okay. All right, folks. That's it for the day. We've made quite a bit of progress. And then I was quite an idiot there. So you all have a lovely evening. Thanks so much for joining us. And again, a special thanks to... On day four... Um, special thanks to... Crowbar. And to... John for all their help today and if I could just remember where I put that oh here it is I found it and you know what we're going to get rid of those those numbers in this thing because it's it's a um, I think it uh, it diminishes the help of any one person for anyone else. Thank you so much and have a great evening.